Well, what happened is one of the employees here saw somebody that was standing out here in the parking lot by the flagpole area, and he had a large stick in his hand, and when people would walk by, he was making gestures with the stick that alarmed him. So they called the UPD, and UPD responded, and when they got here, they, they approached the, the uh, suspect in question, and he did have a large stick, and he raised it as if he was going to try to strike the officers. Um, one of the officers then deployed his taser, and the suspect went to the ground, but apparently the probe's dislodged, and then he was able to get up, and he fled on foot. So when he fled, he fled north towards Beach Boulevard, running adjacent to Kernan through the woods there, and what happened was, the reason there's so many officers is you have to set up a perimeter, and you, so you can have line of sight from officer to officer, so that if they break the perimeter, we have canines in there tracking him right now, and if they break the perimeter and they cross the, say Kernan, let's say, we can see that and we know to move the search, oops, we know to move the search to that area. If he's apprehended, he will be arrested. At the very minimum, he'll be arrested for aggravated assault for raising that stick in a threatening manner. Um, but, it, I mean, there's no telling what else could happen as a result of him being captured. But if you're holding, if you're just holding the stick in normal conversation, no, that's not an aggravated assault. But if you hold the stick and you use it in a menacing manner, or you imply that you're going to swing it like a baseball bat. Plus, you got to take the totality of circumstances into into the you know the equation here because the stick was being displayed at others as they walked by, and he was saying stuff to people as they walked by. So um, we'll see once once we catch the guy. If we catch the guy, we'll have a lot more. Right now, we're kind of filling in the blanks.